Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please don't forget to click the subscribe button to join us Ella Bella's family. So today I did a little bit of shopping, um, more than I usually do. So I decided to do a little haul for you guys. I look a bit like done because I went to a little kiddies party today and it was the cutest thing ever. So just excuse the way I look right now and comment below if this is what you look like when you go shopping. The thing I want to show you is these little boots that I got from Mr. Price. They're dirty because I wore them today. But they're super cute. They have like this nice little detail on them. And they're just like a nice like Chelsea type of boot. Which is quite cool that I wore leggings today and this K. K. So let's start with the cotton one. I got this little mustard knit sweater. It's really nice. I love this fabric. It's so cool. And then yesterday I went to cotton on also. And I got this which is nice and grey and it's long at the back and short at the front. It's really really nice. I don't know, I don't, I just realized that I don't really have my own style. Like I just buy clothes and put them on my body. But I'm really feeling these like knits and leggings. Knits like knits. Like this knitwear and legging type of vibe for autumn, winter, that. And then I also got from the men's section of Cotton On this Snoop Dogg t-shirt. So I got this cool Snoop Dogg t-shirt that I am really really loving and I don't know when I'm gonna wear it or how but yeah. Okay, is that all from Cotton On? That's all from Cotton On. H&M I got like this blushy nude shirt. This will be cool for work I guess. It's really pretty. I think it'll look nice on my skin tone. I think, I don't know, I don't have a viewfinder so. And oh, also one more thing, I don't try on clothes when I go shopping, unless it's jeans. So I hope that all of this fits me. Just a quick also like a catch up with me, but the day that you guys will be watching this, I will be two days in, two or three days, yeah, in recovery of getting all four of my wisdom teeth removed. So I'm trying to film as many videos in advance as I can because I know that my face is going to puff up and... Who knows how long it's going to take until I look like a human again and can actually open my jaw to speak these words that I'm speaking to you right now. So I've got just like a simple jersey for work. Oh, it says basic on it. I mean basic. It's just like a simple jersey black button just for like being normal. And then guys, this I think was like one of my favorite things for the entire trip and there's glitter coming off all over. I a lot of clothing with years on it like dates and stuff and I've never seen one with my year on and you guys oh MG look at it look at it 94 hey. I'm very very excited about this I wish it was a little bit longer or there was a bigger size but yeah hot since 94 if you're born in 94 you are 24 this year yeah so if you're born in 94, leave me a comment down below. I'd like to see how many of my subscribers are actually the same age as me. Why did I think I bought more things? I feel like that's all that I have. Obviously, obviously, I went to Mac and I got me some food. But I went to Mac and I was actually looking for um, the color correcting palette. Okay, because I want to do a video with it, so I needed a palette. But I ended up getting a blush which I'm super excited about. I tested it on my face in the store, but because my makeup's like questionable right now, I don't know if you guys can see it, and also this lighting situation, it's like something to six in the evening that I'm filming. Anyway, I got this shade and it is called Gingerly. Gingerly, normal person. Also got a new lipstick because I don't ever leave a makeup shop, I think, without like buying a lipstick. This is a matte, it is the shade antique and I will find a space to swatch it for you guys. Excuse my veins, I have like bad vein issues. So that's the color. And again it's called Antique Velvet and it is a matte. Then lastly I got the MAC Prep and Prime because I don't have a setting spray guys. Like, And I really wanted the coconut one but then 
they only had the generic one. Generic? Original? Yeah. So then I also got... Okay, let's discuss this for real, real now. Hey, sometimes it's really hard to get foundation for brown skin. There's either always really, really dark or really, really light. So when I got my NC45 from MAC, like two years, ooh, two years ago, and I still have the exact same bottle, because frugal friend right here. Um, I feel like if I put a generous amount on, it ends up looking orange. So I put like a not so generous amount on. It still looks good, it still does its job, but I just feel like it's not the coverage and the buildage, buildage that I want it to be. So I asked the lady to give me samples and she gave me NC44 and NC44.5 and there actually is a difference. Can see there's a little bit of a difference between the two. Oh, sorry, my bed is nasty. So then this other thing that I got from this like weird shop, they have like people doing other people's makeup there, but those people don't really look like they're professionals. So I don't know. But anyway, they had like two faced cosmetics. They had BH there. They had um, what else? They had Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got this lipstick and it's from the brand called Golden Rose. I think I've seen it on Instagram before, but I haven't... Why is my room so dirty? But I've seen it on Instagram before, but I haven't really like paid, atten oh, paid attention to it. But anyway, this is what the color looks like. This is what the color looks like. And yeah, it's like a... I don't even know. What is even the name of this thing, guys? Shade number 12. Oh. So it's Golden Rose Long Stay Liquid Matte Lipstick. Kiss proof shade number 12 tomorrow I'm going back to refinery oh jeans guys so I hate jeans because let's see I tried forever 21 I've tried H&M I've tried mr. price I've tried Truett's. so yeah I think I've basically tried those four that I can remember now for jeans and they just don't ever last but my problem is like the length will be perfect but it doesn't fit properly on my waist and because belts are kind of ugly and if you're wearing like a tight top you don't want a belt to be sticking out I usually don't use a belt and then I end up pulling my jeans up like the first two or three uses and then the elastic stretches and then it doesn't fit me anymore so the only place that I found a really nice pair of jeans that fits me is from refinery and I'm going there tomorrow and they're actually really reasonable I think they're like 250 or 354 pair of jeans. So I'm going there tomorrow to get a pair of black jeans. But I also really want to try sissy boy jeans. But I just feel like ugh, a thousand rand for a pair of jeans. Like I can fill up my tank twice, I think. Yeah, so that was it for this little haul slash catch up with me type of video. Let me know if you guys like these like random spur of the moment types of videos. As you can see, the back doesn't look like it usually does. My room is dirty, the light's not like normal and I don't look like a normal person either. But anyway, yeah guys, let me know if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to subscribe and come back next week Friday at half past 12 for a new video. Also, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot more often than once a week at half past 12 on that platform. So yeah. Bye guys.